My name is Margaret Ghent, and I'm Helen's daughter, first born and the only daughter. Okay, I'm uh, Stephen Ghent, and Helen is my mother. So I'm Dave Ghent Kyle, and I'm the eldest grandson of uh, Helen Ghent. I'm Ward Kyle, and I'm the youngest grandson of uh, Helen Ghent. Um, my name is Carol Rumball Lassar, and uh, I call, for fortunately, I call Helen a friend. I'm Marlene Pantala. Helen and I started working at the health unit in 1958 on the same day, sharing the same office. My name is Jean Warwick Conroy, and I'm a friend of Helen's. My name is Ann Seaton, and Helen and I have been fast friends for 63 or four years. Now my name is Ron Tuff, and I'm an actor. And I've been acting at STC since uh, the 1970s, not the 1870s, the 1970s, and through that I've known Helen Ghent all the way. Well, I just know it's very irritating to walk down the street in Sudbury with her because you don't get very far very fast. It never no. stops. <laughs> it never stops. You're, you're, oh, you're Helen's son. Uh, I'm, I'm not me, I'm Helen's son. I can recall one time, maybe in the past couple of years, saying to somebody, mentioning Helen's name, and by the way, when I hear Helen's name, I smile all the time. So I said to this person, I said, well, you don't know Helen, she's Mrs. Sudbury, for heaven's sakes. Yeah, well, I guess I was thinking about this the other day, and that um, just with her influence in the, uh, the general, like the whole city of Sudbury and the arts and the cancer and all, all, the, all the foundations that she's in, like... Uh, uh, my father actually nicknamed her when when uh, when he was young uh, Hollywood because everywhere they went, someone knew her or uh, she was talking to someone, or and uh, that, that, then that's how it came into Holly Grand. Um, that's what we call her. So she's such a, a social lady. She knows most of the people in Sudbury. I can't guarantee. <laughs> in a nutshell, she's a people person. She loves people. And, and people love her. As you know, she's the best ticket seller for everything. <laughs> I've never seen a woman sell so many tickets in my life. I mean, if that's what it's about, getting people in the seats, man, she should get an award just for selling tickets. We know when we see Helen coming that uh, <laughs> we better get her wallet set. I would get very annoyed because as the firstborn daughter, and well, the firstborn child and the only daughter, I always felt like she was only asking me to sell tickets. I don't think she ever asked my brothers or my, you know, I don't, I, I think it was always me. And she'd ask me to sell one table of eight tickets and I'd start rolling my eyes and thinking, oh man, I don't think you asked, you know, Dave or Steve to do this. Whatever she's interested in, she throws herself into it and um, gives a lot and, um, and is prepared to put the work in. She just doesn't ever stop. I, I don't know if she ever will. <laughs> so, Helen is a really uh, one of the, the linchpins of the Sudbury Theatre Center. If it wasn't for the Helen Gents of this world, we actors wouldn't have a place to act. Artistic directors wouldn't be able to direct. The community wouldn't benefit from all of the spin-offs that the Theatre Center presents. Helen's always been interested in the theatre. Mm -hmm. And I always bought a season's uh, membership, but we always gave the wild game dinner, and people would pay hundreds, thousand dollars to come to our place to have a wild game dinner, which is ridiculous. <laughs> She's such a supporter, obviously, of the Sudbury Theatre Center. I think this has probably been her main passion in the arts, but she, she and I go to so many different art, arts uh, cultural events because we enjoy them and she is just passionate about all of them. Helen was instrumental in uh, getting me into, uh, as a member of the board of directors of the, the uh, Subway Theatre Centre, I uh, said to her, uh, you know, what's it all about and uh, what's, uh, what's in it for me? And she said in the uh, language of uh, John F. Kennedy had uh, asked not what the Sudbury Theatre Centre will do for you, Bill, but it's what you can do for the Sudbury Theatre Centre. Improving the lifestyle and health of people has been a major driving force for her. From her point of view as a professional in the health professions is, uh, again, concern for, for humankind, 
concern for the broader society. She truly believes that a person is enriched by exposure to art in any form. And uh, that, that love uh, somehow is translated in her desire to make sure it's available to all of the people in our community. I got to see some of the plays so many times that it was, you could learn how the play was done. Uh, one that for me is uh, Dracula. I was probably, I was very young at the time at the old Inkle Club. And I think I watched it two or three times from the upper balcony and I'd watch it from one end and then the other end so that I could see how he disappeared off stage. I was probably only 10 at the time. So it was interesting to watch how they um, portrayed the magic onto stage. At the board level, uh, Helen was never uh, shy of expressing an opinion. I can tell you that she uh, had uh, opinions. She says, you know, have you seen such and such? And, and I say, no, well, you must, you really must, you're going to love it. Actually, she doesn't say, are you going to go? She says, when are you going to go? Quantifiably, she would leave this building as part of her heritage. This is a, this is a, uh, a concrete example of volunteer, volunteerism at work. And I can remember one great debate uh, in uh, this room and uh, it had to do with smoking, whether or not to be uh, smoking allowed uh, in the uh, uh, common room here. Helen, of course, was strongly and dead against anything that had to do with smoking. And so the uh, discussion, I call it a discussion, it wasn't an argument, ensued. <laughs> <laughs> well, right from the very beginning, Helen's always been involved with the theater whether it's volunteering for selling tickets or um, involved in whatever project they're putting on. And of course, she always has the actors uh, stay at her place uh, when they're performing in uh, Sudbury. So she's very generous with her home as well as her time. You know, she's given so much to this community um, in, with devoting many years to the Cancer Society as well and, and went all the way up you know, to be president, Ontario president, things like that, as well as supporting many of the good causes in the city and the theater, thank goodness, you know, yeah. <laughs> and she does it so cheerfully. It's because she really believes that you should go and you should experience this and you're going to love it. My mother is an incredible lady. She uh, gives uh, of herself to everybody around her for many different things. She's worked very, very hard all these years, but she doesn't, it doesn't look like she's working hard. That's what I truly admire about her. You know, there's so many things about Helen that I admire. One of them, and this may sound a bit strange, but coming from the generation she came from, as a partner in a marriage, she managed all along to keep a very independent part of herself to be out there doing things, bringing that into her family. She's um, a good friend in that sense that, you know, when, when there's a need, she's there. And, uh, excuse me. <laughs> I think she just, she's the people person. You know, people are drawn to her. She's got a personality uh, that attracts people to her, I think. And she, she's a giving person. It's very difficult not to see her through my eyes as a very loving, generous, kind, and totally loyal. Okay, I can't answer that one without crying, so let's get this over with right now. Uh, I, I'm not going to be able to do it. <laughs> but I do want her to know how very proud I am of everything that she has accomplished. And I'm also very grateful for the fact that we have been all these years seeing each other fairly frequently and we've never yet run out of something to tell each other. Helen, my sincere congratulations. You deserve all the credit that's being given to you tonight. You've uh, been a wonderful person uh, involved in the theatre. Congratulations, Helen. Well deserved. Well deserved. Helen, congratulations. 
you've really outdone yourself with this one and we're so proud of you thank you for everything well done helen congratulations helen congratulations mrs sudbury <laughs> i you are so deserving of this award from the sudbury theater center you have given so much to the theater. Congratulations, Holly Gran, uh, on your award tonight. Um, I know it's been a lot of hard work and uh, throughout the years, but you know it's paid off, and uh, everybody here at the Sudbury Theater Center appreciates it. You've worked very hard for a very long time, and you've influenced many people, and you've ex you've caused many many people to be exposed to the arts who might not otherwise have done so of their own volition and you know that, that you've enriched their lives through that and uh, congratulations I love you. I'd like to congratulate you mom you have been an absolute fantastic influence on uh, me and many other people in your throughout your lifetime uh, enjoy have a great night. Congratulations Holly Grant on your SEC Honours Award uh, enjoy your night. And more than anything I just want to tell her that I have always loved her and I will always continue to love her. You know, I'm honored to be able to uh, have the opportunity to congratulate Helen on this honor. But I think that if anything she should have a standing ovation for her 40 or more years uh, in the longest run in uh, Sudbury Showbiz.